girls! Welcome back to Lisana Does Things. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a ultrasonic skin scrubber, also known as a skin spatula. It has a ton of different names, so you may already be familiar with it. But if you haven't heard of it, this is such a golden grail for your skincare routine. This uses ultrasonic waves, which are like vibrations to jiggle out all the impurities in your skin. It removes dead skin cells, oils, dirt, all of that by using this metal conductor. So it vibrates really fast. Um, this is a 60 hertz device, um, but you can find devices that have up to 30,000. And the more hertz, the more vibration. This tool does so much. Um, depending on which one you have, this is the one I have. It helps extract, it helps moisturize, and it helps tone your facial muscles. So, such a cool little device. If you're struggling with fine lines, clogged pores, blackheads, whiteheads, dull, dry, flaky skin, or even polluted skin, this is the product for you. It helps like revamp your skin by removing the dead skin cells and um, using water to kind of jiggle out the impurities and bring them and lift them up. And I'll show you in the video when I use it in a second. You can only use this product when you have your skin is wet. It needs to glide across your skin very gently and it doesn't hurt. It's not painful at all. But if you use it on dry skin, it's going to tug. It's going to cause damage to your skin and cause aging and we don't want that. So definitely use this on wet skin. It has to be water in order for it to work. Because remember, we're using the ultrasonic vibrations and the water is getting in your pores and then pushing everything out at the same time. This works on all skin types, um, especially with people with mild to moderate acne. People who have a dry skin type, you definitely want to use this no more than one time per week. And for people who have normal to oily skin, you definitely want to use this one to three times a week max. And this is just using the exfoliator, the extraction tool. You can use the lifting and the moisturizing settings every day. You don't have a limit to that. People who have cystic or hormonal acne say that they don't really benefit from this because it causes more harm than good. Especially when you have the pimples that are kind of in the deep layers of your epidermis and they're not like the black heads or the white heads that are right on top ready to come out it causes a lot of redness and irritation to your skin which kind of makes your acne mad so you definitely don't want to use it they don't recommend it so definitely for people who have mild to moderate acne if you have severe acne i don't think this is the right tool for you so let's go ahead and use this before you use it and after you use it, you definitely want to use a little bit of rubbing alcohol to clean it. I've already gone ahead and wet my pad and I'm just going to clean the, the front and the back and right on top. Remember, having clean hygienic skin tools is the best thing, especially when you're suffering from acne. That is the best tip that I can give you because if you're using these dirty products with the old bacteria, the old dead skin cells that you have, you're just putting it back on your skin so you're not doing it any good. So I've already wet my face, I'm going to go back in and use the Nano Mist from my Bella and wet the skin. If you haven't seen my review on it, go ahead and click on the video. It's really cool, I can't say nothing but good things about it. I bought this at Walmart for 25 bucks. It came here in this little cute box. And the bonus present was a Ionic skin massager, which I got here. I like to use it after I use this, but this tool has all of the, oops, I dropped it. This tool has all of the benefits. So I'm gonna press it. So it's on, I'm gonna press it on cleaning light, there we go. I'm gonna get a little close to you guys here the water jumping off of my cheeks that just means that it's working really great and doing everything that it can to extract everything outside of the pores there's not a lot of dirt on my cheeks so that you won't see a lot on the spatula when I'm doing my nose it's really important to move it around just to get as much area coverage as I can it looks like I'm going pretty rough but I'm actually not it's just to make sure that I'm pressing down enough to get things out of my pores, but it's gonna look red after, but honestly, it doesn't even hurt. My T 
T-zone is the oiliest area on my face. So you're going to see a lot of oil come off onto the spatula from my forehead and my chin as well. As an added bonus, this product has an LED light in blue which helps fight acne causing bacteria and controls oils. This isn't the best product to get those stubborn whiteheads that grow right underneath my chin where my lip folds. So it is good at getting some of it off, but not all of it. You can kind of see when I pull it back, it's still there. Most of it was from my nose, but I also got areas like under my chin and my forehead. My T-zone is super oily. My cheeks have been doing really good. Okay, so this is a really quick process. You don't want to go over um, parts of your face more than twice. And if you want to go back again, you definitely want to go and re-wet your face. There's just a lot of acne scars that I have and hyperpigmentation and my cheeks aren't really that oily, but this is disgusting. So I'm happy I got that off my face. Definitely want to make sure that for the next step, you are cleaning your product again with a new pad and we're going to move on to the next part. I'm going to use the free sample that I got from the Magic Eraser, um, which is the makeup remover and dry my face. This is really good at removing makeup if you haven't used it already. You need to buy one immediately. It takes off all your makeup with just water. So the next step that we have here is the moisturizing setting. When you're using it, it's okay for it to feel warm on your skin. That's totally fine. If it gets too warm, you can stop, let it cool down, and then try it again. This increases the absorption in your skin. So this is really great for products, like really expensive products that you only want to use a little bit of. This can make sure that the product penetrates your skin three to five milliliters deep into the epidermis, which means miracles for your skin. Better skin absorption, better cell rejuvenation, whatever your product is doing, it's gonna do it 10 times better just because you're really getting that product in there. So I'm gonna start with my toner. This is Lancome's Tonique Comfort. It's a rehydrating comfort toner that uses Axea, Asaya, whatever you call it, and honey to rebalance the pH on your skin. Like you just exfoliated, you just washed your face, like you're removing a lot of healthy oils that your skin needs. And without it, like, your pH is off, right? So you need the toner to balance out your pH levels again, make your skin nice and smooth. It's looking awesome and it feels awesome and it doesn't even burn. Other toners burn my face and I hate that, but this one doesn't. I'm gonna go with PS's Cool and Clear Facial Moisturizer. I love it because it has tea tree oil and witch hazel. And honestly, don't even get me wrong, I know I got this at Primark for three bucks, but it has done wonders for my skin. I don't know if it's because it's a product from the UK, but girl, I am telling you, my skin is on fleek. I look so good, it's glowing, it's healthy, and this really helps prevent the breakouts. Lastly, I'm gonna put on some hemp seed oil. You may remember this from my other video. I really cannot wait till this penetrates. I love using a liquid, then a cream, then an oil to kind of lock in everything. So right here, this is moisturizer, and we're gonna use the flat part of the conductor to massage that in. Always start on your forehead and really promote that lymphatic drainage there's just so much liquid and toxins sitting in your skin right under we want lymphatic drainage so just like in that picture right here that i'm showing you you want to go ahead and move in upwards and outwards motions moving the liquid out from your skin and pushing it out so you drain down down to your neck and you want to pulse the show you in a second once I do the other side that you gently just want to go over your face as many times as you need to I honestly could do this all day unlike the exfoliator we can use this one or up to three times a week depending on your skin this is something that you can use every night with any serums with any oils um, liquids or creams on your skin so this is super versatile once you put that on your skin make sure there's enough slip for it to glide you definitely don't want it to pull or tuck on your skin that causes aging all that lymphatic drainage is gonna go down into your neck and my esthetician told me that you're gonna pump three times and this is gonna help 
And lastly, the last setting that we have is the lifting setting. You're really going to use the ultrasonic wavelengths in this little tiny product to press and hold on the muscle that you want to lift. So this is going to train your face, kind of like a microcurrent treatment, but you're doing it at home way cheaper. You can get it to last for up to 24 hours, but you really can't get anything more than that. So you really have to keep doing it, keep doing it until your muscles work out enough to kind of hold it in place. When I like to use it, I like to get um, right here on my eyelid just so I can look more alert and awake and right here on my smile lines to kind of avoid um, having that as I age. I have resting <laughs> bitch face syndrome like rbs is like a real thing with me so if you have rbs as well you definitely want to use the lifting setting like me like my rbs face right now i'm gonna lift and train and i'm just looking in the mirror just to make sure i'm gonna hold it right here and really train those muscles under my eye to stay up this is great for people who have hooded eyes um or kind of like those sleepy looking eyes if you want to look more alert and awake and younger. I'm just moving this around under my eyebrow. Then I'm gonna go up top and train those muscles as well. So I don't know if it does anything. This is just me resting my face. Maybe one eyebrow's higher. I guess you guys can be the judge of that and let me know in the comments section if you guys have used this tool before, if it works, if it doesn't. I have seen a lot of this online. And honestly, you guys, I really wouldn't spend the amount of money that they're really selling these for. So name brands sell these same exact products for like $30, $35, $50. And I got this for $25. And I got a free product on top of that. So I wouldn't worry about getting something name brand. You just want to look at the specifications and see how many hertz it has. The higher hertz, the better it is. Um, but I get really good results just using this okay yeah okay i look a little bit better right this is like me and my rbs i don't know i don't really remember like what this product is like if you break it all down like this is just a product that vibrates with a metal conductor and that's it like this is not something that's like gonna cure your acne like it takes time it's gonna make you look better but trust me like don't spend tons of money on something that you can get on eBay for like $15 and they all do the same thing. I only say this because I was at Walmart the other day and this same exact tool, the same exact one with the same exact silver pieces right here um, was being sold for like $40. All I had was the logo down at the bottom. Don't even waste your time. I'll put the links down below. And as always, after every use, you want to go ahead and grab a brand new cotton pad and clean it off. Once you click it three times, it turns off. I've honestly charged this thing once and I got it over the summer, so the battery life on this is really good. You shouldn't be using this more than like 15 minutes, especially when you're extracting on your skin because you can't go over it more than twice. Remember that. This is just literally a quick one, two. The most time that you wanna spend is on your nose. So dolls, let me know in the comment section below if you've used this product before, we're thinking about using it, or want to try it like does it work does it not i think my skin feels great i've been using it since the summertime and we're now in the winter and it's a good product i love it go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below and join the dog collection i'm always posting videos on product reviews skincare routines and how-to videos so if this is something that interests you go ahead and subscribe because it only gets better from here Sending you love and positivity. Go ahead and watch one of my other videos and we can keep watching together and keep the party going.